Previously at AKA Warrior Cup. Century Martial Arts booth. Behold, Black Belt Magazine. I'm here with my amazing sponsorship lady. You guys have seen her from my US Open vlog. She's the best person I've ever met in my entire life. She is the person that makes things happen for us and Team Revolution. Thank you, Chastity, for being such a big part of our lives. That's Team Revolution. The girl though, watch my her. Heart. Watch this girl. My heart. No, you gonna stay here. Okay, what are we, what are we doing? I gotta ask you a few questions, Chastity. Okay. okay, so of all the people that you have interviewed throughout the AKA Warrior Cup, who has been your personal favorite that you've interviewed besides me? Okay, besides you, oh. I have to say the Diaz brothers. That's a, that, that, they that's were a good so choice. Fun. That is a good so fun. I know Sam and Angel pretty personally, and I can tell you they're like the funniest oh, yeah. people. They're so fun. The funniest people I've ever met. In regards to not only Black Belt Magazine, but Century as well, do you guys have anything big or new going on in 2022 that you have planned? Well, we're going to be hitting the tournament scene, so you guys are going to see way more of Black Belt and Century at a lot of the NASCAR events. We're getting out there because we need to see what you guys need as sport martial arts competitors. We're launching a new line of sport martial art equipment, so stay tuned for that. That's so exciting. And then you heard it here. Us. We're doing um, lots of giveaways, so if you guys are out here, I know a ton of you guys who follow Kaylin are here, so come see us. We're doing giveaways and you know, just hanging out. That is so cool, Chastity. I'm honestly like so jealous that I can't be there for the creative process, but just you know, watching it happen like this is so I mean, you can't be. We gonna have a talk. We gonna have a. We gonna have a talk. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Chazzy. <laughs> bye. Say bye. bye.
you feeling? Good, good. Actually, really good. good. It's the first tournament of the year, and uh, yeah, I uh, think yeah. uh, this is uh, where we can see everybody and what's the game plan for the next event. But yeah, I'm happy. You know, I'm with Revolution family. Yes. And you know what? This girl, she got show. She got show. You gotta see it. He said it best, folks. He said it best. That's that's a very well-rounded answer. Thank you. Thank you. Ben, I'm not going to let you get the chance. Um, fun update. They put us in a, they put us in a corner. We're, we're, in the, we're in the timeout corner. <laughs> it's no later than 4.30 and it is 4.30 and we can't check in. Yeah. This, this sucks. A lot of a good time. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, a lot of things said and not a lot of, not a lot of things followed through with. It's a little frustrating, a little bit, a little bit. I would like to eat. I have a McGriddle over there. Just call my name. Gotta oh, be a hot do, McGriddle. Do, why would anyone want to call the McGriddle? I'm sad. It's, you know, I'm sitting. We're, we're sitting in the corner. Man. I left. Throwing us in a corner and then saying, well, it's kind of rude. And it wasn't just me that was waiting, it was quite a few people. Do better, man. Do better. Well, that was a situation, wasn't it? Funny story. After I left, I came in, got some of my food ready, went to get my food ready, and then realized that I locked myself out of my hotel room. Then I got a call saying that I needed to go back down to check in again, because now they were ready for me to check in, whatever. I got my extra key for my mom and then came back up. <sighs> this is the first time since probably eight o'clock this morning since I'm eating. It is currently 5.30 right now. I'm tired. Night show starts at 7. I gotta be there at 6. So out of my five divisions that I had this weekend, I placed in three. I got first place in musical weapons, second place in traditional weapons, and third place in traditional challenge. Even though I don't necessarily like to count them, I DQ'd in creative weapons because I dropped my weapon. And I placed fifth place in my Japanese Okinawan kata division. So overall, it's much better than what I did last time at the AKA Warrior Cup, and so I'm pretty proud of that. And I felt really good all day, so that definitely helped a lot. I was honestly really surprised at how hard it was to get in a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do for this vlog this time because I was just running around everywhere. There was so much going on. So many people I wanted to cheer on and a lot of people I knew. I really wanted to do a lot more, you know, interviews with some people, some of the competitors, and I just didn't get a chance to do that. I'm a little confused with how they're running the grands, but I mean, at this point, it's a good majority of the tournaments where it's kind of consistent with placing throughout all the divisions and then when it gets to grands it just kind of meddles around a lot it's very difficult other than that i'm gonna get ready for the night show that i'm gonna be competing in Baka. can you believe can you believe i'm gonna be on stage at the aka warrior cup <laughs> What is
is this? This was my goal. I accomplished my goals for the weekend, and so I'm just gonna go out there and have fun and do my best. And hopefully you will get to see. I'm gonna cut it right here and then move on to the next show.